In this video, I am going to show you a way in which you can get started using an Arduino compatible board and it will just cost $3. So for this video, I am going to talk about the VMOS D1 Mini clone that is available on AliExpress and it costs less than $3 including free shipping. For those in India, this is simply just 200 rupees, which is completely unbelievable. And to add to that, this board is actually a completely Wi-Fi capable board, which means that it immediately is much more capable than an Arduino itself. In addition to that, the processor inside this module, the flash memory, the RAM, everything is multiple times much more capable than an Arduino. So this is actually in today's time and day a most relevant uh, starting place for Wi-Fi and Arduino. So once you have this board, you simply need to grab a micro USB cable and connect it to this USB port right here. And after that, we need to install a USB driver. In my case, I use a Mac and I'll add a link to this in the description below. So you simply need to go ahead and follow these steps and install this driver. Now the board that we have is actually a Node MCU clone which is the ESP module which is the Wi-Fi module along with the USB to serial conversion circuitry and it is typically programmed in a programming language called Lua but in our case we would like to program it using an Arduino software hence go ahead and go to Arduino website click on download and then select the download for your operating system after that we need to teach the Arduino ID how to program and compile an ESP8266 board. For that we will use this repository which is the ESP8266 core for Arduino. And here there are multiple ways to install but I would recommend simply using the boards manager route. And just simply follow these few steps. Once you have that, open up Arduino and in tools you should see your board listed. By default only the Arduino boards are listed. But once we install the ESP8266 extension, we will now see the VMOS D1 mini option. In addition to that, if you successfully install the USB driver, you will see a serial port that shows up here. Like this. So I just connected the device and it shows up like this so make sure you select that once you have that ready for our example project here we'll use a software called blink so let's see what is blink so blink is a drag and drop iot app builder and it supports a lot of different boards and the beautiful thing about it is that it's not a web application but a mobile application so simply download the application for your phone and it is available for both iPhone and Android devices. And then once you have logged into the device, you will get an API key inside the device. So you now have to have this basic code here, which is include the Blink library and then the API key and the Wi-Fi name and password in your house. And then you simply say blink.run. For additional documentation, you can look at the Blink docs and there's a lot of stuff that you can do with. but for now let's move to the app and see how this flow works when you launch the app and after logging in you will be presented with the screen so simply create a new project name your project and select ESP8266 from this and this is the API key that we were just talking about after that click on create project and you will be presented with an empty screen. Now on this canvas we can add a component by tapping anywhere and for this use case let's try adding a button. So what we will do is uh, we will control the inbuilt LED on the board using this button so that we will be able to change something on the board from our phone. And the output pin is GP2. It turns out that the LED is connected on pin 2, so we'll just select that which is a digital pin 
and click OK. After that, we'll click OK. And now we'll use this play button to connect to our board. And if you press on this button, the LED will turn off. And if you leave it like this, it will turn on. That's because the LED is connected and in a digital low fashion. And that's it. Now I can control that LED from my phone just for $3. See you in the next episode.